Montreal, thank you so much for coming. You see, in these days, Sigmund uh, St. George became sort of a portal to, to the world uh, of Russian underground uh, 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 universe of uh, uh, our uh, guest and director, Vadim Kastrov, whom we are very honored uh, to have here in Lisbon uh, for the Oak Autumn Festival. Uh, yes, it was quite a journey, quite a trip, and uh, we finish uh, tonight with the last part of, uh, of the trilogy, and actually with the last screening of Vadim's films, because we, we have shown four films by Vadim, one is Winter in international competition. If, uh, and I, I think that this is, uh, sorry, I didn't uh, introduce myself. My name is Boris Nirenko, and I'm talking <laughs> of uh, Doc Lisboa. I'm very pleased and honored to be to talk with for the first time in my life for, for Doc Lisboa, and actually for any festival in the world. It was like international festival. Before I only cooperated as consultant, so whatever. Uh, if you would allow me just a small digression, uh, I want to say that uh, me personally, uh, I, uh, I'm introducing the films in South George here for years because we showed some uh, Russian films at, in the context of the Dokish Bowl Film Festival. We did here a uh, retrospective of Kiru Murato. I'm totally out of my way, no. We are a Kiru Murato is always with me, in fact. Uh, and uh, what I want to say is that to be here after like lockdown and after all this year of absence of anything, to be here back in South George, if I'm not mistaken, uh, South George is uh, uh, the only, the last one, historical, old historical city, which is now here in Lisbon. To be here for me is always a privilege. And uh, therefore, like on my behalf, uh, I want to express my gratitude uh, to this venue and uh, to all the wonderful team uh, who helps us and supports with all the assistance. Thank you all of you. And especially thanks to uh, Fernando Caldeira, who is the technical director of, uh, of, of this venue, who really assisted uh, very generously with all the projection and we are very thankful. So I want to say that on behalf of me and on behalf of the festival, Miguel Rivera and Anna Pereira, who are here with us, uh, we are happy to be here. We are happy to show you these films and we are happy to welcome Vadim. I mentioned when I introduced the, first, uh, the previous time the first film of the trilogy that one of my most favorite film critics, Kim Tin, from Argentina, became a big admirer of, of Vadim. And about this particular film that you are going to see, which is called Comet. Uh, he wrote that this is the best uh, rock tour documentary film since Don't Look Back uh, by Gay Penny Breaker from 67. I hope, I, I hope I don't put your expectations too high, but, uh, but you should have high, high expectations. And you made the right, right choice that you are here. And for me, it's a very personal film. It's the film which is very really actually different from the other films from the trilogy. Uh, because this film, uh, like, the lazy comment that you see, the band that you see in the first film, some of you, it comes from uh, Nizhny Tagil, the hometown of Vadim and of this band, uh, to Moscow. And the film is shot in one day in a very particular moment. Uh, it's 29th uh, of February of 2020, which means, first of all, it's like non-existent day, day which only exists once in four years. Uh, it is the last day of February. Second is just a couple of days before like uh, everything in the world uh, was closed, was shut down, locked down. And uh, therefore, you will see, in my opinion, like uh, uh, this like new music festival, uh, festival in all senses, to be festive, to be happy, but it's also like, you know, uh, farewell to the old world. It's uh, yeah, it's like apocalyptic dances uh, and uh, parallel to the old world. So it's a very special film and it's a very special occasion to have this world premiere here and very special to welcome Vadim Kastrov. <laughs> That's what I really, that's what I really wanted. And yeah, 
and this film is just not only the 29th of February, just one day before, but yeah, mostly it's two concerts uh, to in uh, 29th of February, and it was like we were making it like like a, it was the last time, and in many reasons we didn't know about this COVID counts, but if you will. Uh, if you understand Russian, if you hear so with the attention, you will hear the, in the film already some people talking about that COVID already exists. It's just like a mark for me, <laughs> yeah. But it's uh, it was like uh, we did it because we we do it because we don't know maybe this group, these guys will never come to Moscow again with the concert because uh, they used to live in Tegel. It's like it's really hard actually to organize something like this and really hard to get to Moscow, especially to get to Moscow and make uh, with the concert when you when you are don't know some kind of producer, some kind of production company. So the same in this world so is the cinema. Yeah, but I have my kind of relationship with some theater, uh, electro theater in Moscow. It's kind of uh, really really avant garde and really experimental theater, really one of the best in Moscow. And we have a first concert there. I was shown I shown another film. And then we came as just right after we came to the kind of underground nightclub. It's called VIP, kind of kind of VIP. It was Vanya and Basha. <laughs> and it was uh, really, really true underground place. Now it's really changed. Now the world has changed since these times, since this trilogy was made. This trilogy for me is like a last uh, capturing of our togetherness. My togetherness with these people in this gallery, so crowded, so close, where the people were so, so close. And the second part was uh, so so cold and you're coming together in some place and you are also making making party this like the last time because you have nothing and this one also we just make it that's a comet really it was like a comet just flew uh, above moscow and disappeared as that's that's how the spirit all this old world before the covid before when we were when we had uh, all this stuff, all those things that we will mention, that we will, we will some in some day lose. Yeah, but now we are all sitting in the mask, uh, just and we know what we know. But here is just before this, and I want to thank you for coming and let's say let's enjoy the film. Let's rock it. <laughs> See you.